Hi my lovelies, Asalaamu As Alaikum, hope you're all doing well. Today I would like to take you to this beautiful little Middle Eastern Persian Moroccan themed restaurant that I found next to our train station in Winterthur. So let's have a look. The name of the restaurant is called Yalda. One of the staff in the restaurant told me Yalda is a name of Persian origin. In Iran, it means the night of 40. This night is considered to be the longest and darkest night of the year. In this long winter night, family and friends gather together to eat, drink and read poetry until well after midnight. The exquisite design and the decoration in the restaurant is all to celebrate and bring the elder night alive. Beside the celebration of this auspicious night, the restaurant dedicated a cute little Middle Eastern bazaar. Here you have beautiful motive Moroccan candle holder, handmade glasses and glass candles. These scented candles were rich in jasmine, amber and fig fragrance. Just one deep inhale of these scented candles can make you feel immensely relaxed. For those who like cooking American food, you also can buy some traditional tagine pot here, as well as handmade um, ceramic bowls. These ones you actually can use for decoration as well as serving nuts with it. It's really beautiful. I was very tempted to buy it. You can find a great selection of handmade stone and Moroccan style tile coasters. Huge range of spices. Delicately hand weaved Moroccan rugs. I think most of us know the benefit of uh, Moroccan oils such as argan and patchouli oil. I personally like this patchouli oil because it heals from dry and cracked skin. Also, the sweet and woody smell of this oil can make one feel very alert and is well known to reduce stress and anxiety. So this makes patchouli oil very interesting. Um, I can highly recommend you to use it and see the benefit of it. Some more uniquely glazed candle holders and small cute packet of dates. The thing appealed the most about this restaurant Yalda is how it portrayed the beauty of Arab culture, food, art and photos of ordinary people surfing in Gaza. Here they also have a great collection of modern and traditional Persian, Palestinian and Moroccan cooking books. I find learning about uh, different spices, ingredients, food recipes from other cultures gives me a chance to understand people better. It also inspires me to learn about new methods of cooking and experiment with new recipes, which is always fun. Looking at all these delicious foods and recipes in the book, it, it is actually making me feel very hungry. So let's have a look what they actually serve in the restaurant. 
from the counter spot, I can see the cooks are busy preparing dips, salads, and using freshly organic herbs and produces from the local region. The buffet corner looks absolutely mouth-watering and the colors, it is bursting with colors, different varieties of crunchy salads and a range of wonderful dips. This is beetroot hummus, baba ganoush, and you have your traditional hummus here. If you love tahini, you would definitely enjoy this dip. This salad was interesting mix of green wheat, date and pomegranate. It looked also very tempting. Coming back to the theme of Yalta night, watermelon is considered to be a special fruit among many Iranian households. Here you can see interesting combination of watermelon, feta cheese, mint and black onion seed. It looked really delicious. Lunch buffet served. Let's have a look what do they have in today's menu. Here you have juicy shawarma. One of my favorite Turkish food, burek, stuffed with spinach and feta cheese. It looks nice and crispy. And the list of yummy food continues. Here you have small bite-sized falafel. So happy to see pakora in this list too. Look at this. It looks greasy, but believe me, it looks crispy. And I just couldn't wait to have a bite of this pakora. Some interesting looking lasagna. For those who love sweet potatoes, this could be interesting. This one is um, baked sweet potato with feta cheese. I cannot imagine a Middle Eastern food without aubergine. And this reminds me of my friend Dania who loves aubergine. And this is a, such a beautiful grilled aubergine made with pomegranate. So. I miss you, Dania. You have to come here and try this yummy food in Yalda, Switzerland. This is all what we had for lunch today. To continue watching Yalda interior and breakfast menu, please watch my part two series. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.